So after cutting out this bag, the front pattern for the bag, I cut this side that will put the zip, the fancy zip. Then this one will be here as we have cut it out before. So it will be this way. So let me go ahead and add the zip that will be here. Let me keep this one aside now. So remember, I'm still Keleti Ume Ogwado. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so by hitting on the subscribe button then share my video for me also like the video please like the video oh. then hit on the notification bell so each time we upload a new video you'll be notified thanks so much for all my returning subscribers so you for a try you are so great and thank you to all my newly subscribers i say may almighty god bless you abundantly eh? now let's go ahead I'll add zip here as I told you. This is just a fancy zip. It will not have pockets inside because it's too small. So the next thing I'll do now is to sew this plate and the zip clothes. So I'll go ahead and add the zip on this bag. I told you this is the fancy one. So let me go ahead and add the zip here. So after adding the zip on the bag this way, the next thing I will do is to join this brown color with the black color here. So what I will do now is to place it on top of this one this way. I will place it on top of this one this way. Then I will go ahead and sew it. So after sewing it this way now, I will turn it over to this side, I will fold it this way, then I will sew it once again. So this is the remaining side. I use this place to the main side now. So I will turn this one over this way as it is this way now. When it is this way now, the next thing I will do now is to use my scissors and trim it out. So after sewing it, it will be this way. Are you see this? So the next thing I will do now is to cut the round body that will be here. That will be the color, black color. It will be black color. So the round body that will be here. But before then, I'll add cord on this one now. So before adding cord on this bag, I'll first of all use leaf leather to cover it up. So what I will do now is to fold the leather Put the cord inside the leather this way remember i used to tell you i don't start putting my cord at the beginning of the leather i give like one inch then i'll put the cord so let me go ahead and sew this one now
So after sewing it, I'll go ahead and trim it out this way. I'll trim it out. So it will be this way now. The next thing I will do now is to add it on the back. But before adding it on the back now, I'll first of all add lining on this bag to cover it this way. I'll add the lining here. So let me go ahead and add the lining on this bag now. So now I'll add the lining on this bag this way. So let me go ahead and sew it together with the lining. So now let me go ahead and put the cord after adding the lining on this bag this way i'll add my cord this way now so let me go ahead and add the cord this way So after adding the cord on the bag, this is how it will look like. Can you see this beautiful design bag? So after adding the cord, it will be this way. So now the next thing I will do is to add zip on this bag here. I will go ahead and add the zip on this bag this way. I will hold it this way with the bag. Can you see? Then I will sew it together with this one. So after sewing it this way, I'll trim it out, the remaining one here, I'll trim it out this way. So after adding it this zip, it will be this way. The next thing I will do now is to measure it round this way. I will measure it this way. After measuring it this way, that will be the round body for this one. So I'll add a round body for this one this way. Let me go ahead and measure it with my tape. So now I will use my tape and measure it. I will, I will start from the zip to measure each round. Can you see what I'm doing? I will measure each round this way. The measurement is 22 and a half. So let me go ahead and cut it out. So after cutting out this, this is 22 and the 5 by 2 inch. So the next thing I will do now is to add it lining that will cover it. So I'll add the lining here this way. So after adding the lining on this one now, I will join it together with this one. So I will go ahead and sew all of them together this way. I like to sew where I'm seeing the thread that go around the cord, like this one now. So it will be easier for me. So I will go ahead and hold it this way and I will sew it round.
after sewing it, I will cut the remaining side of the bag. So this is how it will be. So for me not to waste time, I will use bias to cover here. Let me go ahead and cover it this side with bias. Let me cover here with the bias. So after sewing it, I will turn it this way. Can you see? I will turn it this way now. This is a beautiful bag. This zip is so designed and so wonderful. So this is how it will be. So the next thing I will do is to get the middle of this bag. I will get the middle this way. So this is the middle of the back. I'll just give it a notch more here. So it will be this way. So now bringing out the main body of the back, I'll get the middle of this one also. I'll get the middle of this one. So now this is the middle and I'll go ahead and measure out one inch. I'll measure out one inch from this side. I'll measure out one inch here and I'll also measure out one inch this side. So after measuring this one inch now, the next thing I will do is to join this one with this one inch this way. From the middle of this one, I will join it. I will join it this way. Can you see? This is the middle of the back, and this is the middle of this one. So I will join it at this middle, then I will sew it round. Can you see? I will sew it round this way. So let me go ahead and sew this side first of all. When I come on this curve, I will turn it up. So let's go ahead and sew it small straight first before I will turn. Then I will turn over to this side. Make sure that what is inside is like half inch, half inch would be inside. That as in what I folded inside is half inch, so I will follow here and I will sew it straight. So now, after sewing this side, I'll go ahead and sew this side also.
So coming to this side, can you see how this back look like after sewing it this way? So it is this way now. The next thing I will do now is to cut out this side. I will cut it out this way. So it will be this way after cutting it out. Can you see this? It will be this way. So what I will do now is to use this one also. You can measure it out with the same measurement on this side. It will be two and a half inch. So this side will be two and a half inch by the same measurement of this. And I told you before that the measurement for this bag is a 10 inch. So the measurement is 10 inch. So now it will be 10 inch by two and a half inch. So the next thing I will do now is to add it on this one here. I'll add it this way. So I'll hold it this way with this so that I will sew it with this one. So let me go ahead and sew it this way. So after sewing this one, I will turn it over to this side. Can you see? It will be here this way. Then I'll sew it again. So after sewing it, it will be this way. Can you see this? Then the next thing I will do is to add zip on this side. But before then, I will use lining to cover here so that I will not be seen here. I will use lining to cover here this way. So let me go ahead and cover it first. So let me go ahead and add lining on this back. I will add it lining first. So after sewing it, I will trim this side out. Then coming to this downward side, I will curve it this way. I will curve it this way. Can you see? I have curved it. So coming to this side now, I will turn it over this way to use it to curve this side. So it will be this way now. So the next thing I will do is to add zip here. I will add zip here. So the zip I will use, the measurement will be 8 inch. I will remove 1 inch this side. I will remove 1 inch this side. So the menu will be 8 inch. So let me go ahead and measure out 8 inch out. Then I will cut it out. This is the 8 inch. So the zip will be 8 inch. Then I'll get one by one inch. So I'll use it to cover the other side of the bag. So now after adding this one, this zip here, Remember, I added this leather first. After adding this zip, I added this leather. Then I add the zip. I added leather by this side. Then I add the zip here. So after adding this one, I will still add another leather 
at its two ends. With the same measurement of the bag, I'll add the same letter that is two ends with the same measurement of the bag. So let me go ahead and add this one here. So after adding this here, the next thing I will do is to use lining and cover the pockets. I will use lining and cover the pocket this here. It will be this way. Then I will cover the other pockets. I will cover it with this lining here. I will not allow it to sew with this side because I'm supposed to cover the lining with the pocket before I will sew this one. But because I have made the mistake, I will hold it this way, then I will sew only this side. So we'll go ahead and cover it now. I've added the lining. Can you see? This is lining for this pocket here. So after adding this way now, the next thing I will do is to fold this one that I sewed here this way with the zip. I'll fold it this way. Then I will sew it again. So after sewing this one this way, what I'll do now is to place this one that I sewed already on the leather this way. I'll place it this way to use to cut the back side of this bag. So it will be this way now. Then I'll use it to cut the back side for the bag to get the accurate measurement on the back side because this one is the front side. So I will use to cut the back side of this bag. After drawing it this way, it will be this way, then I will cut it out. So after cutting it out, this is how it will be. So now I'll go ahead and add lining on the two sides of the bag and the two sides of the bag. This is the front side and this is the back side of the bag. So let me go ahead and add the lining. So let me add the lining here. I'll keep this leather this way, then I'll sew it down this way. So after adding lining on this bag this way, the next thing I will do now is to measure the round body for the bag. I will measure this sleeve here. So let me go ahead and measure this one. So the measurement is 31 inch. So I've measured that one inch by three inch. So let me go ahead and cut that one. So after cutting the third one by three inch, third one by three inch, I added lining on the third one by three inch. So the next thing I will do is to add the handle. I'll be using this for my handle. The measurement for this is four inch, and this is two inch four corner handle that i'll be using so i'll add it this way here i'll add it here this way So 
after joining this one this way, I will still go ahead and join this one here. The next thing I will do for this one, I'll keep this one aside now. I'll add cord on these two main body of the bag. I'll add cord on the two. So then go ahead and add the cord. So now I've added my cord with the leather. I've added it, I covered this with the leather here. So I'll remove some parts of the leather, like one inch from here. I've removed the, some parts of the cord, one inch. So I'll start from this upper side and sew it. So after adding the cord, this is how it will be. So the next thing I will do now is to get the middle of this one here. I'll get the middle of this. I'll get the middle this way. Then after that, I'll get the middle of this one also. That is the, the round body of the back. I'll get the middle this way. So now this is the middle, then I'll hold it at the two middle this way now. I'll hold it at the two middle this way, then I'll sew it round. So after sewing it, it will be this way. Can you see? It will be this way now. So the next thing I will do is to join this one. Before then, I'll get the middle of this one also here. I'll get the middle of this one here. So this is the middle. Then I'll join it on this middle here. Then I will sew it round. So now let me go ahead and sew it round and show you how it looks like.
So after sewing the back, when I turn this, this is how it will look. It looks like. So this is the bag now. So the next thing I will do is to add zip here. I'll add zip here. Then I'll use it to cover here. So let me go ahead and add the zip. Before then, I'll add leather here that will cover the zip here. Then I will add the zip on the back. So after adding it, it will be this way now. Then I'll go ahead and fold this back. I'll fold it this way. I'll fold all of them this way. I'll fold it this way. Then I'll sew it round. So let me go ahead and sew it round. So this is how it will be after sewing it. And you see, so it will be this way. So the bag will be this way, and you see. Please have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then try and do so. Then you will hit the notification bell. So each time we upload a new video, you will be notified. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks to, so much for watching this video. Thank you so much. Please like the video, share it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, then hit the notification bell. So each time we upload a new video, you will be notified. Thanks so much. Bye bye.